Want to make someone smile? Just put it in writing. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It means a lot to you, huh? Oh, I, I appreciate that so much. A child's work and handwritten words on a piece of paper. It's one of the letters. Each one a prized possession for 96-year-old Pat Dorward. How many have you gotten? Ten or three, ten here, yeah. And here's where they came from, John Paul II Catholic School in Cincinnati. <laughs> Students from kindergarten to eighth grade have been sending senior citizens letters. It's part of an ongoing religion project. And this year we worked on those who were sick, um, the elderly, or those who were kind of isolated in their homes. Since the pandemic prevented in-person visits, the kids, with guidance from their teachers, put pens to paper to make the lonely feel less so. Not all lessons are reading, writing, and arithmetic, are they? No, they're not, they're not. I hope that they learn how to do little things for others. And in a world where events can sometimes silence what's good and happy, she hopes they learn kindness counts. It seems they have. Just listen to what a couple of their junior high students said about their letters to the homebound. They need that reassurance that everything's going to be okay and we're here for them from a distance. When you write those letters, you just think about, like, if I was in that position, how would I feel and what would make me feel better? Sometimes it's a joke, sometimes it's a verse, and sometimes it's just sharing something personal. They've gotten that back from their senior pen pals and cards and letters. One wrote, Two days before I got the letters, my best friend had sadly passed away. Just knowing that we were there for her, I think she felt supported and loved through our messaging. In your mind, is this really instruction on what it means to be human? I think that's a very good way to put it. And they're learning how to connect in a way that isn't digital. I'm reading a handwritten letter. It's, it's nice to have that because you can still cherish it without it being deleted in a second. Far from it, she and her school are holding on to the correspondence, just like Pat. Another one. We're all going to be smiling after this surprise of a lifetime. Tears of joy and disbelief. I've been looking, praying, thank the Lord. He's been missing for half of his life. Judith Dowdy got Skylar when he was a puppy, but one day this Maltese disappeared. He was let out to use the restroom along with my sister's dog, and her dog came back, but Skylar did not. That was three years ago. Then last week, Sheree Battle was driving with her kids. And my kids were like, Mom, 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 hold on. It's a dog. I'm like, where? <laughs> And it was like right there. And he was just walking in the street. And I'm like, oh my gracious. So I didn't did a U-turn in the middle of the road. They took him home until the Peninsula Regional Animal Shelter opened back up. I immediately scanned for the microchip, which is, you know, standard procedure for us when strays come in. A match. She called the number and it was the owner's daughter. I could hardly speak to her because she was screaming in excitement so loud. Ginger Vassar arranged to bring her mom to the shelter, but didn't know what was in store. The lady told me I have a seat, so I had a seat, and the lady said, well, we got a surprise for you. And Skylar came strolling out, elated to have her precious pooch back in her arms. Started licking me, and I started crying. I mean, it was a miracle to me, and I still can't believe, you know, I got him after three years now. Skyler went missing near Campbell Road in Newport News and discovered about 15 miles away. They say he was in good condition when he was found, but they don't know what he's been up to the last few years. No, we, we tried to ask him, but he didn't answer us, so we just... <laughs> A rare reunion. It doesn't happen that often, um, but it has happened before. And of course, we're always so happy when it does happen. You know, thank goodness for the microchipping of the animals. It's just awesome. This is Skylar on his trip back home. I was kind of sad when he was gone, but uh, I didn't give up. I prayed and prayed and the Lord answered my prayers. And I hope, you know, anybody else sees this, I hope they try to look for their dogs. Holding on to hope despite the odds, now Skyler is home with his family.
We still have to celebrate one of our favorite couples, Joe and Dorothy True. It's their 76th anniversary. I might take it to a drive-in movie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we used to have those. Park it there. We've got more smiles coming. It's good to know.